Create Art Podcast. Project Napo Rimo, otherwise known as National Poetry Writing Month. Hello, friends. This is Timothy Kimo Bryan, your head instigator for Create Art Podcast where I bring my 20-plus years of experience in the arts and education world to help you tame your inner critic and create more than you consume. So this month is National Poetry Writing Month. Happens every April. And National Poetry Writing Month is known as NAPO RIMO, and it's a creative writing project. And what they do is they give you prompts. If you go to the uh, Na- uh, NAPO Rymo website at naporimo.net and they'll give you 30 po uh, 30 prompts for the 30 days in April. Now on the website you can also interact with other people. This year is going to be different from the previous years that I've done this project. This year I'm going to be writing poetry throughout the year, and I am uh, following a different prompt than the one that the National Poetry Writing Month uh, folks uh, do. Now, I've been doing um, poetry since 1988. I know for a lot of people here, they're like, whoa, the 1900s, but uh, I've been doing it uh, for a long time. I've been writing poetry for a long time and performing my poetry. So, this year, like I said, I'm going to be writing uh, all all throughout the year, and uh, the blog that I'm using is called Think Written, and uh, the links for that will be in the show notes. I'm also going to be performing these works at Katora Coffee House here in Fredericksburg, Virginia, on their Friday night snaps open mic poetry reading. You'll have a link for that again in the show notes. And a lot of people, uh, they ask me, hey, Tim, why do you do this to yourself every year? Um, And my answer to that is, if I'm going to ask you to be, you know, taming your inner critic and creating things, then I need to be doing it too, right alongside you. So that's why this year I'm doing it a little bit different, but I will be acting, uh, uh, interacting with the poets there on the uh, NAPO uh, RIMO site. And uh, we'll see how this goes. I'm pretty excited to uh, be doing it this way. So today's prompt is entitled Sound of Silence. Take some inspiration from the classic Simon Garfunkel song, Simon and Garfunkel song, and describe what silence sounds like. So this one I uh, titled No Thing. Laying down ready for sleep. The fan is set to high, even in the winter. And the music is set for introspection through jazz, drowning out the usual high-pitched squeal that has become my swan song. I am prepared to enter the ethereal lands. Being alone with my thoughts is the quickest way to insanity. The voices that plague my mother descend with vengeance, ready to eliminate any respite shown me. Nightly, I sonically excavate the landscapes of my awake and sleeping mind, reliving mistakes I have made and paying for them dearly in ways only my mind can torture me. One minute would be nice to be able to turn off the thoughts and dreams, to not think, fear, or be anxious. Just that total blankness of a new sheet of paper or an empty canvas. I do not afford myself such luxuries. But to have that one moment where nothing comes in or goes out would only fuel the idea that my brain is flawed, that the internal demons who wanted to silence this voice have won the war against me. There will be no peace in our time. All right, so that was my poem uh, for this day uh, for National Poetry Writing Month. I hope you enjoyed it. You can go right to the website, createartpodcast.com. And you can go ahead and comment right there in the comment section if you like. Now, something I'd like to ask you is, uh, if you enjoyed it, shoot me an email, timothy at createartpodcast.com. I want to hear about your journey, and I want to hear about what you're working on. 
And if you'd like to be on the show or, you know, would like to discuss a topic that's giving you trouble, well, then go ahead and email me. Let's start that conversation. I also want to let you know uh, about another podcast that I do, and that one is called Find a Podcast About, and that's where I help you find your next binge-worthy podcast and outsmart that algorithm. You can find that podcast at findapodcastabout.xyz. Last thing I'd like to say here is if you found value in the show, let me know. Pass it on to a friend. If you have ideas on what I could do better to make this a five-star podcast, I want to hear about those too. I want to be helping you with your art, to be bold with your art, as I do it right beside you. I'll see you next time.